Hello, this is Wesley Fryer with Moving at the Speed of Creativity and in this short screencast I'd like to demonstrate how you can create an automatic update mechanism so that a post on a blog or another website that creates a web feed can automatically update a Facebook page that you create. So first I'll just show you an example this is our Story Chasers blog at storychasers.org. <clears throat> you can see over here in the sidebar we've got a link to our Facebook page. And I have this configured so that every time a new blog post goes up here on this WordPress blog, it also goes over to the Facebook page. And the Facebook page is not a Facebook account. It's a page that I created and we can actually have multiple administrators and folks working on that if we want. So the way that I have done that, and I'd love to know other ways to do this, if, if you know other ways, I want to give a shout out to Dean Shiresky because he's the one I think that turned me on to this particular website. And this is a website called Twitterfeed, twitterfeed.com. And so you need to create an account and um, then you, you can create a new Twitter feed. So what I'm going to do here is click on create a new feed and I'm going to give this a name and what I want to do is uh, similar to what I've done with Story Chasers. I've got a blog that I am helping um, a company work with, a master teacher, and they have a Facebook page and so I want to feed those two. So I'm going to um, call this uh, feed master teacher and then I'm going to need to put in the actual feed address. And so um, we're using FeedBurner to create a feed. And so I will go ahead and copy the feed and I will paste it into this URL. And so you want to, you can get the word, the WordPress feed is generated. We've, we're, we're using ours in FeedBurner. You don't have to to do that if you don't want to. And this is where you can specify an update frequency. So I think I'll probably just stay with uh, the default every 30 minutes and it's going to add um, a post one update at a time. So I'm going to you know, pretty much leave all of these settings um, to be the same. If I want to configure this with a custom bit.ly uh, account, I can do that. I can also add that later. Um, there's a lot of fancy things that that I can put in here uh, if I want to do something that's going to be you know um, uh, that'll come first or last and then I can also include some filters and I haven't used this feature but at some point I need to change how I actually have my own Twitter account go to Facebook and it would be good to filter that a little bit so now I continue on to step two and um, it is created and so now I I'm here to, to see what services that I want and I'm going to go ahead and select Facebook as a service and so the Facebook account that I want is the, is my own and I need to go ahead and make the connection to Facebook and I will allow Twitter feed to act to access my account and now I can see the different pages that I have access to and so I'm going to choose the master teacher page and um, that means that every time every 30 minutes it's going to go out there and check and see and if there's a new post over on the blog it is going to automatically put it over there on the Facebook page so it is active and it looks like I'm all done. If I wanted to have that automatically go to Twitter and some other places I could do that, but I will say that I am all done. So now when I go to my dashboard, I can see that I have created a new um, Twitter feed for Master Teacher. It is going to update every half hour and it is automatically going to publish to Facebook. So I have went ahead and scheduled a new blog post here on the site that is going to go live tomorrow morning. And so when this blog post goes live, I uh, we'll check in and hopefully it's going to go live at 7.30 in the morning and hopefully within 30 minutes we will see that automatically appear as the most recent post over here. So if you know another way to do that, love for you to tell me and I'm sure there's other ways as well, but Twitter feed's a good choice to go with and it's free.